Hey folks, uh, Kyle Keel here, and I apologize for being gone for the last couple of days. Um, I do have a new training video for you. This new training video is going to consist of the training that I did um, on Monday and on Wednesday. Um, this Monday session, what you're going to see right now is me doing 345 pounds, um, squatting for three sets of seven. That's a seven rep PR for me. All of these sets... Moving forward this week will be rep PRs for me, and um, my programming called for five sets of seven, but after having done the nine sets of four the previous day, and um, and just re really feeling worn out by it, because I had taken nine days off from squatting to try and let my ribs heal, um, I, uh, I ended up cutting it short two sets. I decided that uh, for a, a number of various reasons it was, it was best for me to, uh, to just try and cut this one short and to run a sort of abbreviated version of small oak for this week and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this abbreviated version then next week I'm going to run it with the same weights but I'm going to uh, add volume by just doing all of the sets and then the following week I'll add probably around 10 pounds and uh, and so uh, I learned I guess that uh, that jumping right back into the base cycle trying to do the second week after having taken a week off um, doesn't go terribly well, uh, though I think I could have probably grinded out five sets if I really wanted to put myself through that, but my technique was really breaking down, my, uh, my lower back was really tight, and I just decided that I'd be conservative. You know, I'm getting a tremendous amount of volume in, I'm going to get stronger by doing this, um, I don't need to necessarily put myself at risk, um, by, uh, by training past a certain reasonable point of fatigue. After I did these three sets, I made a really stupid decision, and that was an impulsive decision on my part. Uh, I decided I was just going to max test, because oftentimes when I have one bad session, um, what I will do is I will compensate for that bad session by trying to do something exceptional elsewhere. And so I decided I was going to try and PR on the bench press. I missed my PR attempt, and then I, uh, I tried to do my, the rest of my work, for, uh, for Small Up Jr., and um, on the very first set, basically for the first two reps, I noticed that my pec, which had been nagging me for the duration of the last training cycle, uh, had decided that this was the time that it was going to get really angry with me. And long story short, I am not benching this week, and again, that's my own fault because I made an impulsive decision. Um, I'll get back to that impulsive decision in just a second. Just so you know, this is 365, I'm going to do 5 sets of 5. I cut it intentionally short because after the, um, after the second session, after the 345 session, I just decided that I was going to do a little bit less training volume this week to let myself acclimate to, um, to squatting heavy again. And, uh, so anyway, getting back to my impulsive decision, I'm oftentimes my worst enemy, and I'm the first one to admit this, and people around me know that this is the case, um, when they see my training. I'm a very impulsive trainer, um, I don't like sticking to protocol, I don't like sticking to set programming, I have done it because I feel it's what's necessary for me to do if I want to reach whatever my ceiling is. But I don't like doing it. I like going in and training by feel, and training impulsively, and giving in when I feel like I have to do something better, or I feel like I have to set a new PR. Um, that's easy for me to do. And uh, when I get frustrated with my training, oftentimes my response is just to try and hammer away and kill whatever problem I have with volume and intensity. And honestly, that's not the best solution. I know that this is the case, but I have a really hard time psychologically stopping myself from making the same mistake over and over again. It's why I miss a lot of max attempts. It's why I, I make changes to training, uh, to training days every so often. It's not what I should do, and it's, it, I'm getting better at it, certainly. If you had watched me train a couple of years ago, you would have been astounded at um, just how little... I adhered to whatever programming I said I was using. Uh, I would basically do everything by feel, and uh, I know I can't do that. I know I shouldn't do that. It's not ideal for me if I want to get stronger. 
and uh, hopefully this time I learn my lesson. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'm hoping that that's the case. Um, this next set that you're going to see, the final rep was an absolute grind, and I just decided this is the time for me to stop. Um, this does feel considerably harder than the last heavy sets of five I did for training, and uh, that's not unexpected. I did take some time off, so I, I figured this might happen, and I'll just work back into it. It still does feel better than 365 for 3 did the end of my first week training small of, which was about a month and a half ago now. Um, on that day, I quit after 7 sets because of various injuries, but the reps just felt a lot harder than these reps felt today. So, I have that, um, I guess, to console me. Uh, I also wanted to mention that on my first set, I know you saw me do 4 reps. I did 5 reps, but I cut it off early because... Um, well, to be honest, because Janice walked directly in front of my camera on the fifth rep, I don't blame her for that, but, um, but, uh, she kind of got her ass in the way, and I decided I'd just be nice, and I, I cut that final rep out for her so that, uh, the world wasn't exposed to that, or she didn't expose, um, uh, herself to the world, so, anyway, she owes me one. There was a fifth rep done, but I'm just not gonna show it, I'm gonna be nice. Um, so you'll see me, you'll see me do what is a grinder of the fifth rep here. I just really got forward. The rep wasn't that difficult, but I just got in bad position and decided at that point it was time for me to, um, for me to do something else in my training. And so I, uh, I ended up, uh, doing some, some speed. There it is. The horrible grind. Um, so I ended up doing some speed pulls. I did 275, 8 sets of 2. Did him with a, a long mini band that I stepped on and and just uh, just tried to pull him real fast. Felt good. Felt really solid with the speed. You know, I didn't pull heavy on Sunday. That's a rarity for me. Usually I pull heavy every single week, but I didn't pull heavy this Sunday. I'm gonna pull heavy again next Sunday, so I'm gonna take some some time to uh, acclimate to small off while not uh, doing heavy pulling. But uh, did do my speed pulls. Kept them light because again I'm just trying to acclimate to um. To, uh, to getting back into the base cycle, and uh, so I kept them below 50%, used the miniband just to introduce a little bit of accommodating resistance. I've been doing a lot of my pulls without it, number one, for the sake of sim simplicity, number two, because um, I I'm just trying to, uh, to be a little conservative while I'm squatting, and uh, I'm already pulling for speed once a week and heavy once a week, so I don't want to overdo it, but uh, I'm going to start introducing more accommodating resistance into my speed pulls. It felt good pulling against the band today. I'm going to do more of that in the future. Anyway, keep checking in. I will have more videos for you soon. The next video I have will be my squat video. Probably end up doing 385 for three, seven sets of three.